What's going on, YouTube fam? Micah here with the finger of ha adventure going straight up. I don't know, does that intro work? I've always said hi adventure video. Does the finger going straight up work? Hmm, I might have to think on that one. I don't I don't know if I like that or not. You guys tell me. Anyway, we are out here in the beautiful backwaters of the South Carolina coast. I'm at a little inlet and I have bait fish just jumping all around me. That's what we're starting today's video with. We're gonna go try to get some bait and I'm trying to find some shrimp too. We're about an hour from low tide. I see all kinds of heron everywhere. I mean, just absolutely everywhere. So we're definitely gonna try to get some of that for some fishing later on, also to eat potentially. And then we'll obviously get some herring for, uh, for bait because you cannot beat fresh bait, especially when you're ocean fishing for whatever reason, that is just like the absolute, mwah, the best. I've just got stuff jumping all around me. Trying to figure out if I can find the shrimp. I don't know exactly what I'm looking for. A guy told me look on the muddy banks, and he said you can kind of see him skipping along the cross, along the blah, 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 along the top. Sometimes I could definitely see the minnows moving, but uh, I kind of am after the shrimp. We might just have to kind of make some random throws with the cast net and just see see if we can find them. Look at, just look at all this bait around here. This is just nuts. You know, we're gonna get the cast net out and just throw, see what happens. I got it. this is a six footer. And if you guys watched my last video, I'm pretty poor at throwing it. But we gotta practice, so I'm just gonna take a wing here. Well, okay, that wasn't terrible from a first throw. That actually spread out pretty good. Don't know if I got anything. I'm just kind of hoping. Wait, there's shrimp in there. I'm seeing baby shrimp in there. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. oh, hey, we're getting baby shrimp. Look at this. Check it out. I mean, they're not big. We're gonna be fishing a pier later. Look at this. Look at that. We're gonna be fishing a pier that has a uh, um, big sheep's head around the pilings. I know shrimp is a favorite bait. And those are perfect size. That's perfect size bait. Let's get more of that. That's awesome. Let's get our bait bucket here. Get some water in there. Drop the shrimp in. You guys still alive? Oh yeah, they're good, they're good. Now let's get a bubbler here. There we go. All right. Try to replicate that first cache. Get a little further out there. That's how I typically cast right there. Shaped like a bean. <laughs> I'm seeing shrimp jump all over the place though. Oh, hey, they're jumping out. No, do not jump out. Small shrimp, but the small shrimp are good bait. Oh yeah, yeah, we got, we got shrimp. We got shrimp in there. Got more shrimp in there. Oh yeah, oh, we got a decent sized shrimp in there. Check this out guys. Look at that. Got some shrimp. Oh yeah, they're all up on this. Look at that. That's some more good bait. Look at that guy right there. Like, that's like eating size. We'll get more of that. These are white shrimp. And the season to bait them is open, actually, right now. Just another thing I have not done. There you go. Yet. But I really want to do so much adventure. High adventure to be had. I'm really excited. We're just on this muddy flat here. And there are shrimp here. We're going to work this a little bit. And see if we can keep putting some shrimp in the boat maybe some bigger ones too for eating later okay that wasn't bad that wasn't bad we're getting the hang of this guys i was so bloody awful in my last video but you just really you gotta just keep throwing and trying to kind of figure it out i see more shrimp i see more shrimp what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna open this hatch right below me here and we're gonna try to pop this open and let them fall right into it. For those of you wondering, I'm in a Hobie Mirage Outback, the 2020 version. Oh yeah, we got two, four, five, six, seven shrimp there. We'll throw a little water in there with them as well. Let's try it this way. Hey, I actually got some length on that one. I threw that one out pretty darn far. And it spread out decently. Oh, I see some fish in this. I see some fish in this. I see fish and shrimp. Come on, come to daddy. Woohoo! Yeah, we got a couple of herring in there. Got a little baby shrimp. 
Oh, a couple baby shrimp. Oh, another baby shrimp just fell out. Here we go. I'm gonna just drop them all right down in here. Look at that. Oh yeah, we got some shrimp. Look, there's another one right there. Hey, a little bit bigger size right here too. Check that out. Oh look, <laughs> he just jumped right out. Get rid of the sea. And then we got our bait, which I'm not worried at all about. We're gonna catch so much of this. Look at that, our herring. Look at that though. And we got some in the box as well. We'll transfer those back. I'm just dropping them right in as I pull them up. That way they don't escape out of that porthole. There are a couple tiny holes in there and they'll get down in there and get away. So, but we're gonna move off this a little bit, move out this way, just a skosh. Come on, baby. No, back this way. Wrong way. Almost out of battery. Whew! All of a sudden, it just landed on its own. It just had a zero percent. Oh, that was close. That was almost an epic fail. Almost an epic fail. But we got it. Oh guys, check this out. I caught a stingray. I caught a stingray. Look at this. We gotta be careful. I don't wanna get stuck. We got a little ray. Nice. So I'm gonna try to grab it by the tail. Check out that barb here. Look at that. I don't know if you guys see that. Well, it's kind of against, but this is the barb. And that's what'll get you. There you go. You can see a better side of it right there. That's what'll get you. So we'll get him back in. It's pretty cool. There he goes. Nice. Not what we're after though. Let's try to pull our way up. There's a nice kind of little inlet up here. Opportunity for stuff to kind of get trapped. Let's see if anything's hanging, hanging out. I don't know why I'm throwing my paddle around. Element of surprise, I guess. <laughs> Oh, uh, they could be. If I get it. Oh, yeah, I see tons of shrimp. If they're big enough, that's going to be the key. Oh, yeah, they're all up in. Look at, all, look at all these shrimp jumping. See them jumping everywhere? I got a bad throw and I still got a bunch of shrimp. Oh, my goodness, I got a ton of shrimp. That's probably the best shrimp throw right there I've had. Look at that. Shrimp on the deck. Shrimp on the deck. Let's get it down there quick again. Come on, need a better throw. That's a little bit better, a little bit better. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh my heavens, tons of shrimp. Drop them on the deck. Shrimp and get hit the... One more mother load. Oh man, that might've been my best throw yet. Good distance, good spread. Look at all those shrimp jumping around. Oh yeah. What do we got? Yeah, more shrimp. That's awesome. All right guys, check this out, look at this. Bait on the deck. Bait on the deck. <laughs> Look at that. Good grief. Got some. Got some herring mixed in there as well. But look at this. That's not a bad size one. Guys, they actually have these little spines right up front. You see that right there? It'll poke you right there. They're quite sharp and they'll get you. I've been stuck in the foot a couple of times, but oh yeah, we got plenty of bait now. We might even cook some of this up. This is awesome. This is so cool. So cool. Awesome. Let's get him in the live well. Let's get to fishing. All right. Tide is still coming in. Still got a couple hours of the tide coming in, actually. And we are heading to our private pier. Well, it's not my private pier. It's just the private pier that we're staying at. I wish I had a private pier. That's like squad goals. Looks like it's a beautiful afternoon still on the water. Let's do this. Alright guys, this is what we're gonna do. We're going to grab 
a shrimp. One of the live ones here. Ah, that's a smaller one. Check that out. Perfect size. Now, I've just got a little like uh, uh, drop shot set up. I don't actually have drop shot, shot sinkers, so I just kind of had to improvise. But I do have little octopus hooks. I'm going to throw a little live one on here. Try the live first. I'm going to just drop them right down by these pilings. And then what we're also going to do is throw a big fishing rod out and see if we can uh, get something big as well. Let me get... There you go. It's right down there. That's down. Now let's get a big rod out here. There you go. Fresh herring we caught this morning. Oh guys, I'm getting a bite already on this. Oh, I think I have one on here. Oh, I missed him. I already had one. <laughs> Dang. Mr. Bill, I think I left my cutting knife back at the deal. Do you mind if I steal just for cutting this guy up? Oh, sweet. Oh, thank you. I'm gonna just chop this guy in half. Yeah, we're just gonna cut this right in half here to start the day. You know, I bring those basically everything except the kitchen sink and then I forget the knife. All right, we got the big old circle hook. I'm gonna just go right through the eyes. Now I've got a four ounce sinker on today because we got a little bit bigger swell. And you know, I'm not even gonna cast it off the front. We're gonna go right out here. You got, everything's kind of breaking right in here. And I've found that those fish usually are either in the swell or not very far away from it. There we go. Just like that. All right. Fresh shrimp, get them back down. There's one. Man, right on the live. What is this? Oh, we got off. Dang it. On the live shrimp. Dang it. Can't believe he got off. Shoot, guys. Get back down there. I think I'm getting bit again. I just missed another one, I swear. I'm almost dead positive. There's a bite. Come on. Got him. There he is. What is this? Oh, shoot. He got off again. Are you kidding me? Oh, there's a bite. Oh, you got one? I just got a bit on the big rod. Just missed a fish. You have one on? Nice. I just missed a bite, too. That don't look like a stingray to me. Whoo! I'm just here telling everybody, you don't have to cast way far out. Of course, you just nail one way far out. That's, that's about how it goes. I don't, I'm excited to see what it is. That's so much fun about the ocean fishing. You don't ever know what you're going to get. Got a nice heavy duty rod there. A big water ugly stick. Nice. Favorite tackle. Tackle on beach door, Walmart. <laughs> hey, you know what? Walmart doesn't sell too shabby a stuff. What? It's off. What was it? Did you see? I have no idea. Oh man, well, that's a good sign, guys. We got some. We got some action. I gotta figure out what the heck this is. I'm missing down here. I've got him on twice, and he's throwing the hook twice. All right, here we go. Maybe third time's a charm here. All right, we're on the bottom. Live shrimp. There's a bite. Come on, eat it, eat it. Something's got it. Something's got it. I'm gonna let him eat it this time. Man, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I'm getting took for everything I have. There's a bite already immediately. I'll let him eat it. Got him. See, there it is. Get him up. What is that? There we go. What is this? Oh, it just came off, just came off. What is that? Oh. Check that out, guys. All right, guys, I just looked up Spanish mackerel and it doesn't look like the picture of a Spanish mackerel. It is 13 and a quarter inches long. I've texted a guy that I know who's gonna hopefully tell me what the heck it is. Might, might just, if anything, if you can keep them, might be, that might be a shark bait, at the very least. Drop that in. All right, guys, I just had a guy tell me just shot me a text, told me these are called ladyfish or poor man's tarpon. And apparently they're not that good to eat. But 
that still is pretty cool it's a cool looking fish it definitely like with the fork tail and everything reminds me of a game fish but not good to eat so we'll just go ahead and toss her on back Woo. there she goes she'll be all right cool well, that was a first for me that's awesome got him another one what is this oh what a black sea bass well that's crazy there's another first for me guys look at that check that out cool black sea bass baby still fun toss them back oh there's a bite there's a bite Got him. Got him. Got it. Don't know what it is, but we got him. My guess, this might be a stingray would be my guess. It's not really running. Fortunately, she's coming right this way. It's a pretty heavy whatever it is. It is right there. She was right there. Come on. Nah, do not go that way. Big old stingray. <laughs> there she is. There we go. wet pick i never heard that before that was that's like exactly what it's like come on up. Right, i'm like i don't want to pop you either oh there you go oh now you're cooking oh look at that come on is she in there we go there we go <laughs> nice thank you yeah that was awesome Thank you, sir. Whoa. Shoo. Well, guys, not what we're after, but uh, that's a big one. That's a big one. She's gonna have a bit of a barb on her there. All right, guys, check this out. It is the moose excruciating. Look at that barb right there. Whoa. Oh, yeah, yeah, stay back. My goodness. There you go. Look at that. Yeah, she'll get you too. I've seen them, like, they, they know how to use that thing, that's for sure. All right, guys, just grab them. You just grab them in the snout, Mr. Bill is telling me. I've never done this before. That's cool. We'll just drop her right back down. Anchors away. Oh, she's turned. When she's on her back, she's kind of docile. Oh, there she goes. There she goes. Nice. Cool. <laughs> Whoa, we're getting him right here. We got one. Oh, did I miss him? Nope, nope, we got him. We got him. Oh, what is that? It's jumping. It jumped. It jumped. Maybe this is a Spanish mackerel. What do we got? Yeah, it jumped. This ain't a stingray. Oh, no, no, don't you dare. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, no, it just threw the hook. Now, I don't know, but that looked like another ladyfish. I, I don't know. It looked like that. It was either a mackerel, yeah, or I couldn't quite tell. Dang it. Me, it was bigger, that's for sure. Mr. Bill, that's gonna kill me because I never saw it. <laughs> yeah, that was, yeah, that was a 16, 18 inch fish. Dang it. That burns right there. That burns. Well guys, it's been probably about, probably about an hour and a half since I've gotten any like significant bite i think we're about three or four hours from low tide and the fishing just seems to have died mr bill actually already left i'm thinking it's about supper time we do have the shrimp and the crabs that we caught earlier so i'm thinking maybe we pause on the fishing at the very least i think we're going to go ahead and at least cook up what we caught today and try shrimp for the very first time that sounds good all right we have picked out some of the bigger shrimp 
which to be honest with you, probably I lie a lot of people's standards are pretty small still, but hey, you know, this is what we got. And because I'm basically like a RuneScape level 12 at fishing off of piers, this is what we're gonna be eating. So I've got a little skillet. Here's my butter knife. <laughs> Actually, a lot of people like this knife. If you guys want this, I'll have a link in the description below to it, as well as like all my cooking setup, merchandise, everything, sweet octopus necklaces. If you guys want to get in on some of that action, let this butter melt down, create like a nice little butter bath, basically. Now, yeah, I think what we're going to do, I just had this thought. We're going to take our shrimp, put a nice little handful in there. That eh, We could probably fit a few more in the skillet. I'm gonna do that and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with some old bay seasoning we're just gonna coat the shrimp in here i'm not gonna lie i'm kind of getting excited about this i know they're not big but honestly i mean crawdads you don't get much more meat than what's in the tails here off a crawdad so basically same difference i'd say i'm also gonna crack some salt in there with them as well you know i might add a little lemon these guys as well there you know I need a little garlic that's ex you know what do I have garlic in here I better I've got just about everything else <gasps> garlic okay it's not fresh garlic but it's garlic powder I'll take it I'm gonna hit the shrimp with that there we go all right our butter is melted down so I think we're just gonna toss those right in like that Boom. I don't know, this is my first time ever doing this. Oh yeah. Just keep moving around so everything gets evenly cooked. But that's what I'm talking about. Man, this is looking good. I know they're not big, but it's looking delicious to me. Okay, in classic Southern fashion, like I'm so, we just, we just got absolutely drenched. All right, and we have to pause the cooking because a girl just, ran by and said they're gonna beach a big shark so i guess i tell you what every time i start i stop fishing people are catching big fish i just need to stay out later in the evening apparently uh, oh nice heck yeah guys they're beaching him go out oh, this way that's awesome look at that look at that that's sweet. You got a perfect hook set, man, like right in the corner of the mouth again. Give me some slack, Dylan. Oh, that is a black tip, isn't it? A couple feet long. Check that out. I you, this is the second night in a row. Give me some I quit. And y'all catch a shark. That's awesome. Wow. There you go, buddy. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. That's awesome. There you go. That is so cool. Man, guys, I need to get out here and fish in the evening. I'm not getting anything during the day, not that size. All right, guys, check that out. It looks good. It looks good, I'll give it that. I'm thinking you just take the head off. You can just like grab all the legs. All the legs just come right off. So now we have just a little piece of shrimp. Shell comes right off, there you go. Hey, like I said, that's, I mean, that's as much meat as in a, in a crawdad. Here we go. <laughs> that's good. That is good. Oh my goodness, I want another one. I'd rather eat that than crawdad all day, all day. It's like sweet. There you go. There's another one. Again, pretty small. It's not the biggest, but <laughs> that's good. Mm. Oh. And the sauce is so good too. It's finger looking good. Mm. All right, and for the second course, I have a couple of crabs. I don't know if I mentioned this earlier. I had a couple of blue crabs that I caught right at the tail end of the last video I shot. In fact, if you guys want to see that, there'll be a link in the description below. Something will probably pop up on your screen. 
These are my first ever blue crabs. At least in Oregon, you always wanna cook your crab in bay water, it's the best. So, I don't know, I'm assuming, I'm assuming you wanna do the same thing here. Just get some ocean water, just like that. I'll take them back and boil them up. All right, while this heats up, we're gonna go ahead and add, I've got a little bit of Zataran shrimp and crab boil. Add that right in. I'm also gonna take the rest of this lemon. I'm gonna slice it, drop it in there as well. Don't need a lot, it's not a big boil. Now I'll go ahead and throw this guy in too. Why not, the more the merrier. Then I have with me, let's see, a Mediterranean herb, beer can. Oh, there it is, some Team Weber Cajun seasoning. Go ahead and dump a bunch of that in there as well. There, get those in. That'll help that water heat up faster too. Drop the lid back on, wait for the boil. All right, guys. Oh yeah, that's boiling, that's boiling. In fact, I'm gonna turn that down a little bit. These crabs have been on ice all afternoon. I mean, they might be a little bit alive, but not really. They'll die fast in the boiling water. It's pretty much an instant death. I'm gonna throw those in, and those won't take long to cook at all. All right, let's take a look at this. Oh, fogging up the screen. <laughs> Oh my goodness, anyway, here we go. What do we got here? See that guy right there? Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. He's looking good. You know what we're gonna do? I got all this extra shrimp left over here. We're gonna just throw out, well, let's get rid of the seaweed there. There we go. We're gonna take all this shrimp and we're just gonna drop it right into our boil, just like that. We're gonna let those cook for a few more minutes. The crab's almost done, so we can just go ahead and throw these in kind of right at the end. And then that way we don't overcook the shrimp, because the shrimp will cook faster than the crab. I'm going to reach in, stir all that in there. Yeah, that's looking good. That's looking real good. Go ahead and just grab the lid. Let that cook for a few minutes, and we're going to be ready to eat. All right, y'all, we are back at my little cabin here. So we actually ended up losing light and I just I didn't want to film the last little bit out in the dark because filming in the dark is just bloody terrible I, honestly what it is it's my bad I suffer from like the age old man fishing problem like I tell myself I'm gonna be done at five and then five gets here and like I haven't caught that extra fish so it's like well maybe just like 15 or 20 more minutes then 520 gets here and I'm like oh, man I just need one more and then all of a sudden it's like 6.30, then all of a sudden it's like seven o'clock. I really should have finished this a long time ago, but you know what? Sue me. I wanted to catch one more fish, but check this out. Look at that right there. In fact, I am going to attempt to scoop. Oh, there we go, that worked. Scoop these out. Oh yeah, there you go. There's a crab, some shrimp there. Oop, steaming up the camera. Get our other crab out. There we go. Drop him on there. Not too shabby. I can live with that, that's for sure. Not bad at all. All right, guys, look at this. Our first ever blue crab. That's awesome. They definitely do not have the legs of a Dungeness crab. Like you're getting like no meat out of that. These claws, however, let me break one off. Look at that claw. That's not bad at all. In fact, we're gonna go for that first here. Ooh, super spiky, look at that actually. Can you see that? Oh, well, like three big old spikes right there. Holy cow. That'll mess you up. Human strength. Okay, wait, I'm not gonna get this. Let's see if they've got a crab cracker somewhere in this apartment anything in here i need a crab leg cracking ah wait hold up we got something here here we go i think this is technically for cracking nuts but you know what we're gonna have to make it do maybe not hey we did the job there look at that look at that right there big old piece of meat treasured around in our butter here we go blue crab for the first time Oh, my mom, I'm salivating. 
Oh my, that's delicious. So people say, or from kind of what I've researched, you get more meat out of Dungeness crabs, which is what I'm used to going after along the Oregon coast. But people claim that the meat is much sweeter. Look at that, is that part of that claw? Let's see if we can just, can we pluck that out? Oh, yes we can. They claim that the meat is much sweeter in the blue crabs. You know, it's been a while. Well, it's been since, what, December since I had Dungeness Crab. I do know this. These claws right here and the meat within. That's ridiculously... Oh! Ah! Ah! You got me! Ah! Woo! Barely missed the ball of the eye there. Oh. The meat within. What was I saying? The meat within? The meat within these claws. Holy cow. Is there any meat in the body? I want body meat. That sounded weird. How do I break into this fortress? Come on. Look at the spines on that thing. See on either end there? Holy nuggets. That'll mess you up too. Oh, there is body meat. It's like a decent amount. I had a guy tell me once, he said, I don't like catching blue crab. He said, yeah, it's a lot of work for a little bit of meat. I mean, look at this. Look at this. Well, I got a, just a big old chunk. There's a big bunch of meat. Mm. It's a mouthful. More than a mouthful. Man, I, I was honestly, I, was, I thought, you know, two crabs is perfect. Because, eh, you know, it might be one of those things like, well, that was a lot of work for not a lot of reward. Pish posh. Poppycock. Fooey. This is delicious, and I want more. YouTube fam, what an excellent day. I love the ocean. The o it's just so much fun. When you throw something out there and like, it could be any of like 20 different things that you could catch. It's, it's just fun. It's, it's a blast. It's totally different than like lake or stream fishing. And I love it. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed the recipe as well. We gotta go find some bigger shrimp and a lot more crab. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, I will see you in the next one.